Last week, we brought you the story of Germany's ambitious renewable energy plan, Energie Wende. It's a 40-year shake-up that's kick-starting a whole new industry, but threatening a decades-old oligopoly. In this special report from Germany, Emily Stewart explains the economic impacts. Australian-based ceramic fuel cells is a long way from home. The energy innovator has invented a generator which uses renewables. But with few subsidies available in Australia, it moved most of its operations to Germany two years ago. The well, market incentives are much better here and we wanted to build it close to market. Germany is in the middle of an energy transformation called Energiewende. It plans to produce 80% of electricity from renewables by 2050 and to shut down all nuclear plants. The government claims the program has already saved billions in fuel costs for the heavily import-reliant country. We have created new businesses worth 40 billion euros per year, created employment, additional employment um, of up to 400,000 people. But it's been costly. Generous subsidies have been introduced in order to kick-start the sector, last year amounting to 16 billion euros. In a number of uh, the federal states, there are already capital subsidies available from the local or the state governments, uh, which actually reduce the investment uh, a householder or a small business has, uh, has to make uh, by up to 65, 70 percent. Most of the subsidies are spent on first-generation solar and wind parks that locked in high feed-in tariffs for the next 20 years. But there are calls to phase them out altogether. We have seen that the subsidies have and these support schemes have distorted the market. Just a controversial example just to show solar panels have been supported in areas where sun doesn't shine. And the energy turnaround has clouded the future for the dominant utility companies. Germany's big four have enjoyed a nuclear and fossil fuel-driven oligopoly. For 80% of the, of the people in, 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 in uh, utility, it is more or less depressing because they see that their business model is not longer working and that their market is breaking down. Income has been slashed as subsidised competitors flood into the market and the big utilities have been slow to invest in renewables. Between them, they own a share of around 10% of the industry, mostly in big offshore wind projects. They certainly haven't turned as fast as they should have done. Um, whether they will be able to turn around quickly enough to survive, I don't know yet and I don't think anybody knows. We are under heavy pressure. We have to reduce costs dramatically. I think we cannot say that the future of the German the utilities is safe. And the future of German energy looks very different, with hundreds of companies and cooperatives being formed in a decentralised industry. While banks, industry and project developers own 40% of renewable installations, farmers and private investors own half. At a trade fair in southern Germany, investors are drumming up business, financing developments with crowdfunding. We are offering 5 to 10 percent um, in interest, which is pretty good at the moment. Um, um, there are a lot of people who are just attracted by, by that numbers and not, not just the idea behind it. Startup GreenX Money is the first internet-based trading platform for wind power plants. And here you invest for instance 10,000 euro and you know you have a plan where you get back the money with the date and how much money you get back. While being clean and green will be expensive for Germany as it works through the next few years paying billions in subsidies, supporters say the technological payoff will be much greater. All or most of the new technologies, in, especially in the energy sector, have been commercialised in Germany. Offering incentives and favourable regulations, it's been a warm welcome for this Australian company.